We are Christian in so far as we believe in Christ's principle of love your neighbor as yourself. And with that principle, I challenge every Jew in this nation to tell me that he does not believe in it. In the 1930s, anti-Semitism intensified in America, some of it incited by Catholic clergy and reflecting anti-Jewish teaching and persecution over centuries. Anti-Semitism was quickly spreading to a new generation of Americans, not just through clergy, but via religious textbooks as well. Not content to sit on the sidelines, AJC reached out to leading Catholics and documented the use of negative stereotypes in religious material. In 1959, Pope John XXIII called for a church-wide council, in part to rethink the church's relationship to Judaism following Catholic self-reflection in the wake of the Holocaust. The Pope chose Cardinal Augustin Bea to head a key commission on the subject. Cardinal Bea met with AJC leaders and invited AJC to submit analysis of anti-Jewish elements in Catholic teaching in the U.S., Europe, and South America. AJC's leaders also urged Cardinal Bea to consider a dramatic transformation in Catholic-Jewish relations and introduced him to the revered Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel. Rabbi Heschel pressed Bea and the Church to view Jews as partners in repairing the world rather than as potential converts. AJC's Interreligious Affairs Director, Mark Tannenbaum, realized the potential of a church-wide declaration on Catholic-Jewish relations. This decree is pregnant with tremendous new possibilities and relationships between Christians and Jews, puts behind us the polemical past and seeks to chart new ways for us to encounter each other as human beings who share a common heritage and are all created in the dignity and, and in the image of God. While this important council met, AJC organized seminars and institutes for Catholics and Jews to increase understanding of each other and reached out to American bishops for support. But news that the Catholic Church was considering a positive change in Catholic-Jewish relations provoked loud and pointed opposition. Some church leaders saw no reason to change anti-Jewish teachings, while some in the Arab world viewed any change in favor of Jews as tantamount to support for the State of Israel. Despite opposition, in October of 1965, Pope Paul VI promulgated a declaration known as Nostra Aetate that changed the face of Christian-Jewish relations forever. Nostra Aetate declared that Jews could not be held collectively responsible for the death of Jesus and that anti-Semitism violated church teaching. No Catholic uh, can be a good Catholic and be an anti-Semite. Through meetings with each successive pope and one-on-one -on -one relationship building with local, national, and international Catholic leaders, AJC has led the way in forging strong Catholic-Jewish relations. From joint relief efforts around the world to an unprecedented program bringing Jewish teachers to Catholic high schools and Catholic teachers to Jewish high schools. AJC's advocacy to improve this crucial relationship has taken many forms and remind us that the benefits of Nostra Aetate can be brought to life when Catholics and Jews work with each other. It was Cardinal John O'Connor, Archbishop of New York, described as one of the Catholic Church's most powerful symbols on moral and political issues, who proclaimed that no organization I know in this city, in this country, in this world, has done more to improve Christian-Jewish relations than the American Jewish Committee. <laughs>